Welcome back to another Saturday door knocking session with your good friend Brandon. Um, so I, I just want to, quick side note, um, does anybody know what it smells like, like smells like to have heated crossbow uh, uh, herbicide in your car? <laughs> well, I do. Um, so I went to, because I'm dumb and I self-manage my properties, uh, I went to go to each of my properties and uh, spray them, you know, the blackberries and the weeds and the stuff like that, right? Because my tenants, I don't really expect them to do a lot of, of landscaping, you know, stuff. I try to make it as easy as possible on them. Um, so I went over and I did uh, some spraying of herbicide or whatever you, pesticide or whatever you call it, um, crossbow. And I was so tired from doing that yesterday that I left the, the sprayer pump thing you know, that still had vapors and stuff. It was empty. I emptied it and, uh, uh, still had stuff in it. And I was like, ah, I'll, I'll put it away tomorrow. So I go to my car today, right. To like start door knocking. And I totally forgot. And I'm like, oh man, this smells terrible. This is like, uh, I mean, it's, it's, I shouldn't be breathing in, uh, uh, herbicide. I'm going to put my window back down. I'm trying not to like have the audio quality worse than it already is, but I'm like, you know, so I was like airing out my car and I'm just like, oh man, this is, I got to tell people this. Cause like, Hey, just so you know, if you're trying to be a small landlord and, and get into the game, uh, I would recommend not leaving your, uh, uh, weed killer in your car when it's like 85 and 95 degrees outside, because, um, that stuff will smell <laughs> and it's not good. Um, so, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'm all right here. I'm going to roll the window back up, but, um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that quick little insight. So yes, it is Saturday. I'm back to the door knocking. Um, I wanted to make another video for you guys. Um, I have been having some luck with off, off market duplexes. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. I have had um, uh, a seller reach back out to me. And, and this is the importance, you guys. This is the importance of making an impression. I, uh, I reached out to this guy probably a year ago when I was looking for a fourplex, right? And I saw that, you know, he had two duplexes that were next to each other, so kind of like a fourplex. Reached out to him. We weren't able to make something work. He just, he kind of wanted a lot of money. And, um, and it was, there was just some wonkiness with the property. So I didn't really want to, I didn't want to deal with that. So I kept looking. Anyways, so he, um, he hits me back up just like a, you know, a couple days ago, out of the blue, he said, hey, are you still interested in those duplexes? And I, I totally forgot who this guy was. I had no idea. And I texted him back and I said, every day when I wake up, that's all I think about. <laughs> and he laughed and he's like, oh yeah, it's, you know, whatever, man. Um, so anyways, moral of the story, he still wants uh, an outrageous price for the duplex. Well, actually, let me rephrase that. I don't think they're outrageous prices, right? So duplexes in, in my area here, um, they go for between like 400 and 600,000, right? Like 600 is like top of the market. That's full retail, fully dialed in. You know, you're just putting money. So this guy wants like 450 each. So, you know, I mean, that's fairly reasonable, but it's still not like that great of a deal. But it's, you know, for somebody who doesn't want to pay realtor commissions, for somebody that doesn't want to, um, you know, uh, have to ha uh, haggle and, and, and fight with, you know, the entire world, right? You know, when it's on the market listed, you have to fight with everybody. Um, and uh, so I, you know, send it out to, to people and I, I have people looking at it. And uh, cause I, I can't buy it right now. And, and I, I love this one guy. He always asks me every time I send something out, he's like, why can't you buy it? Or why aren't you buying it? Which is a great question, you know, like, you know, Hey, if it's such a good deal, why don't you buy it? Right? Great, great point. And the answer I tell him every time, I can't afford it. <laughs> um, I mean, and, and you know, I've already passed on the deal once a year ago when interest rates were way lower. So now it's actually even worse of a deal because interest rates are higher. Um, but I told him, you know, I said, Hey, look, man, you know, it's, it's not a screaming amazing deal, right? Like if it was, if it was, you know, 50 cents on the dollar, I would find the money. Right. Um, 
you know, you know, so it's not a screaming deal, but for somebody who wants a duplex, who's willing to do a little bit of work, right? Cause you know, they need work, rent needs to be done, you know, floors need to be done, paint, uh, you know, general updating, but it's not thrashed, right? It's not trashed, it, it's financeable. Um, for somebody who's looking for something like that, I think that's a really good entry point, right? If you are pre-approved, you're looking for duplexes uh, and two of them side by side, nonetheless, um, it's, it's something that I think people should look at. So I've sent that out to a few people. We'll see what happens. And then just this morning, I, I don't know what it is. It's like, as soon as you make one post about off market duplexes, I had this realtor guy that I know His name's Kyle, really nice guy. Um, he said, Hey man, um, I have two, four or two, two duplexes. I have two duplexes off market and, um, I, I'm an agent. I could list them, but I want to see if I can just, you know, if you know anybody specifically who might be interested, if you could do some of the legwork for me, I'd be more than happy to pay you a little bit of a referral commission fee. Mar they have to call it a marketing fee or whatever. Look at Troy Martin over there. He's got his, his property listed. Um, so, you know, uh, and I was like, yeah, absolutely, man. I, I know plenty of people who want off market multifamily properties. That's kind of my thing, right? Um, so I sent out another post. I said, Hey guys, I got two more duplexes that are off market. And you know, these ones are more, these are more priced aggressively, right? Cause it's a real estate agent. He does know what he has, not saying the other guy doesn't, right? But you know, he, he, he wants to get the most he can, which I totally get. The other guy is, you know, I mean, 450 for the other properties were, you know, it is okay, right? Like, I'm not saying any of these are amazing deals, right? If they were just the most amazing deal in the world, I'd, I'd find a way, right? I know people with money. I'd, I'd go get it. Um, but here's the deal, right? Uh, for people who are looking for something off market that are, you know, willing to pay, not necessarily a premium, but are still willing to pay like, you know, a, a fair price, right? Because the sellers, you know, nobody's just going to give away their property, right? Like nobody is in that financial, especially multifamily investors. If you invest in multifamily residential, not commercial, residential, it's rare. It's really rare that you find a seller who is desperate that to get out of their property unless there is major deferred maintenance, major tenant rebellion, right? Like you have half the people not paying. It's either there's a major problem or there's no problem, right? There's no in between, right? You don't have any, but there's no foreclosures. You know, people generally can pay their bills when you have other people, you know, tenants helping you. Um, so it's rare that you find a desperate multifamily seller. Um, is there value add opportunities? Absolutely. But will the person be desperate? Unlikely. Um, so when it, when it comes down to it, you know, these aren't amazing screaming deals, you know, are for the right person who's not wanting to fight the entire world, willing to pay a price and just, you know, call it a day. Sure. Um, so the other guy who's the agent, Kyle, you know, he, he has one in Vancouver, Washington, which is a, a not as hot market. So he wants 450 for that one. Um, and they're two bed, one baths. So 450, eh, you know, uh, you know, I, I found a fourplex, not in Vancouver, right? Further out, um, recently a fourplex and we were trying to do it for 650. Um, and it didn't appraise for 650 like the sellers wanted. So anyways, that deal fell through. So fourplexes are going for 600. Um, you know, I think a fourplex maybe in Vancouver would go for seven, maybe like that's top of the market kind of. So 450 for a duplex, mm, you know, again, that's still kind of high. Um, and then the other, uh, 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 duplex that he has is in, uh, Portland or it's in Gresham and he wants, then what did he say he wanted for that one? He said he almost wanted 600,000 like, or no, I think he said 659. And I kind of chuckled. I'm like, look, man, Gresham, I don't care how nice your duplexes are. Nobody's paying like 700,000, right? Six, 695. And I, I'll send it out anyways, right? Because I'm trying to help the guy. And if I know somebody who's interested, but I mean, th these duplexes are really nice, right? They're like dialed in. They got good rents. They got good renters. Um, they're three bed, two and a half baths, 1500 square feet. I mean, they're nice, right? Um, but you know, you know, where do you go from there? If somebody pays 695, you know, where do you go from there? So, um, I don't think he's going to have much luck selling that one. Um, I've had more people reach out to me about the Vancouver one just because of the price point. But, um, 
yeah, you guys, it, it just post stuff, right? Make videos, go on Facebook, go on TikTok, go on whatever, right? And just tell people like, hey, I'm looking for, oh, hey, I found these. And, and, and I honestly believe it. It's crazy. Within seven days, I've been able to send out four different duplex opportunities to people. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I'm getting known in the, in the Pacific Northwest area here in the Portland area that like, Hey, Brandon's the, the off market multifamily guy, which is great. I'm glad like I'm, I, that's what I want. I want people to bring those deals to me because I want to see them first. Right. And if I can buy them, that's great. And if I can help other people, that's great too. But yeah, just start making a brand for your guys itself. Make, you know, make a name for yourself. Like what is it that you like? And I like small off market multifamily where I can negotiate directly with the sellers. Um, and yes, that realtor guy, Kyle, he is the owner of the property. So it's not like a realtor is coming to him, the seller on his behalf. I'm negotiating directly with the seller. He just happens to be a realtor. Anyways, you guys, I need to get to this first door. So I'm going to get to it. All right. Catch you later. Bye.